Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6, and it reads, Seek ye the Lord, while he may be found. Call ye upon him, while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our power. For he will abundantly pardon. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Next double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops with great millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety. So, all you should say, I can keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith of God. So, people here forbear. Just a quick little lesson on just seeking the Lord. I'm about to head out. <coughs> You know, make this daily bread. It's, it, it, we one day closer to this place of getting up out of here. The Lord commands us to seek him while he may be found. This word is still accessible. You know, you can turn on the internet. Get your daily bread. Meaning this word. You can go to the highways and byways and still see the men out there preaching this word. It's a blessed word. The Lord says, seek me now. You swear, you Israelites are supposed to be searching for the Lord. You're supposed to be searching for the proper name in the Hebrew tongue of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, too. You know? You're supposed to be seeking what pleases them. The scriptures say return, meaning repent. We all supposed to be repenting, turning back remorseful for the things that we have done. It says, let the righteous, let the let me, let me read that again. Quick little lesson through the Spirit. Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, why he may be found. Because soon come to men, this word is not going to always be on the internet. See, Israel thinks this word is going to be around. The men of the Lord are going to be teaching. 200 years from now, we're going to be still on the corners teaching. Everybody with cane, canes, holding each other up, coughing like I don't know where, dust everywhere. No, man. This thing is coming to a close, it's coming to a, a drastic end. Fast, too. Hands are, you know, thousands upon thousands of people without power now. You got you people frozen like hell inside their cribs right about now. Fires and wars, rumors, earthquakes, volcanoes erupted, all um, grocery stores ain't got no food on the shelves. You know, everybody's sick as hell, but oh yeah, this ain't the time to seek the Lord. Are you serious? This is this the most time, this is the most important time to be seeking the Lord, man. Straight up, man. This is call ye upon him while he is near. We got the proper names in the Hebrew tongue. We have been taught the proper names in the Hebrew tongue to call on. There's no excuses anymore of what the name of the Lord is. We have the names. No more excuses. What's the name of the Lord? No more excuses. We all know the name. All right? <coughs> And I, I want to get this too. Let's see. I want to get this about um in our captivity. We're gonna call on the name of the Lord. What is that? Um let's see, bear with me. Yeah, this is it. We ain't got the names. We ain't got come on. The scriptures say we got the names. It says, Call ye upon him while he is near. This is Baruch chapter two. Let's see. Baruch chapter 2, verse 30, and it reads, For I knew that they would not hear me, meaning the Hebrew Israelites, because it is a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. And now we're starting to still remember ourselves now. We remember that we're the Hebrew Israelites, right? In the land of our captivities, right? And shall know that I am the Lord their power, and I will give them in heart and ears to hear and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. So we have the name of the heavenly father and his only begotten son. Now it's time to seek him now. So let's go back. Isaiah 55 and 7. Let the wicked, meaning the wicked Israelites, forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return and let him repent. And let him return unto the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And he will have mercy upon them. But the Israelites that don't seek the Lord, the Israelites that don't repent, you're not going to receive mercy. You, you know, you you still don't see how bad it's getting out here, huh? Dozens of flights canceled. 
you 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 still ain't trying to realize you're trying to ignore reality still 2022 the year turn up the majority of the Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, still trying to ignore reality. You you can try to ignore reality all you want, but that's not going to stop reality from coming and from happening, man. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and he will have mercy upon him and to our power. And that's what you pray for, mercy. This devil about to come in like a flood, about to come in like a madman. You see? You pray for mercy, man. It says, enter our power for he will abundantly pardon. You see, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, they got the power to give you a clean slate. To, to wipe the chalkboard clear. You, it's a chalkboard, you know what I'm saying? Spiritual chalkboard with all your, your sins up there. The Heavenly Father, in the name of His only begotten Son, look, they got the power to take that chalkboard with that big giant spiritual eraser and wipe it clean. That's if you seek Him, Israel. Look, look, why it may be found. You, you don't want to play around. Let's get this Sirach. You don't want to play around. You, you see what, what happens to Israel that plays around, right? Look at the Israelites that played around with the Lord. They got taken off the earth, man. Or they're in a predicament right about now that they can't get themselves out of. Sirach chapter 5, verse 7. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and, and put not off from day to day. I'll get to it tomorrow. i get to it next week. Y'all going to be out here next week. The Lord is the Lord bent tired of hearing that, man. Every Israelite that uses say nine times out of ten, the Israelites that do say that, you never see them again. You never see them again. They're they too busy. For suddenly, when, when you put it off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth and in thy security, in your security, in your comfortability, in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Because that's exactly what's coming. Vengeance. Keep listening to these people lying out here. The scriptures say, let lying lips be put to silence. You got all these lying liars out here. Tomorrow, it's giving nothing but peace is coming. Tomorrow, nothing, nothing but love is coming. Come on, man. Nothing but peace is coming. Nothing but love is coming. Look, look, still, still trusting in lies. Which, which that's what Israel loved anyway. The, the scriptures say, In thy security thou shalt be destroyed, O Israel, and perish in the day of vengeance. Because that's what's coming. That is what's coming. Let's bring out a couple more scriptures, and then I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to wrap it up. Let's see. Let's see. Um, First Chronicles. Just quick, quick little warning. Lord, the Lord got His Spirit in us to keep to warn you again to seek Him, and it, if you don't want to do it, oh, oh well, oh well. Let's see. Let's see what I want to start at. Okay. This is First Chronicles chapter sixteen, verse ten. Glory ye in His holy name. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Let the heart, mean and the mind of them rejoice that seek the Lord. The Israelites that are seeking Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, let them rejoice. You see? Let them rejoice, man. Let the heart, mean and the mind of them rejoice that seek the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Seek the Lord in his strength. Seek his face continually. Remember his marvelous works that he have done. His wonders and the judgments of his mouth. Look, that, that's exactly what's coming. You, you, none but judgment is going forth. Nothing but judgment. It says, O oh, ye seed of Israel, his servants, ye children of Jacob, his chosen ones. He is the Lord. He is the Lord our power. His judgments are in all the earth. And, and once again, that's what you see going forth. The judgments of the Lord. I got to get this Ecclesiastes. The ninth chapter. 
Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 12, for man also knoweth not his time. That's what that's why the scripture says, make no tarry to turn to the Lord. You, you don't know your time, man. You don't know when the Lord going to call your phone. For man also knoweth not his time. As the fishes that are taught, as the fishes that are taken in an evil net, and as the birds that are caught in a snare, so are the sons of men snared, meaning trapped, in an evil time, some bad times. That's what we're in now. When it falleth suddenly upon them, just like the people in the Bronx, they won't seek in the Lord. And then that evil, then that evil, you know, a truck just went off the, um, the damn, um, Damn, the damn bridge. An 18 water truck went off the bridge yesterday. Volcanoes erupting in the water, causing tsunamis. Buildings burning the hell up. It's, it's really going down. It says, so are the sons of men snared in an evil time. When it falleth suddenly upon them, and everybody knows, well, I don't know if everybody knows, but anytime something happens suddenly, it catches you off guard. You, you, you're not expecting it. When something happens suddenly, you, you're not expecting it, Israel. So when that death and destruction come upon you, you, you you're not expecting it. Re remember, you're in your security. E everything's all lovey-dovey. And, and to what? Bam! You're out of there. That's exactly how it happens. This is Proverbs 8. 17. I love them that love me. And we know what love is, keeping the commandments of the Bible, so the best of your ability, rehearsing the righteous acts. And those that seek me early, look, they, they got that word seek again. And those that seek me early shall find me. Because you don't want to wait to all, who, who in their right mind waits for all hell to break loose to seek their power? You know, the scripture say, uh, seek the Lord and live. O house of Israel, seek Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and, and live. The, the Israelites that don't seek the Lord, man, remember, even Joshua said, choose you this day who you're going to serve. The majority of the Israelites already chose who they're going to serve anyway. Pagan gods, things of that nature, that, that's who they love, you know. That, that's who they love, that's who they're going to serve, and that's, who, that's who's going to get them destroyed. I got one more scripture, and I'm going to wrap it up. <laughs> got one more scripture, and I'm going to wrap it up. This is um, 2 Chronicles 15. 13, that whosoever, the Israelites, that whosoever will not seek the Lord power of Israel should be put to death. Just pl That's plain. Make no terror, remember? Because if you're not seeking the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, the Lord said he's going to put you to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. That's the message for the day. You see? That's the that's the message for the day, Israel. You know. Remember, pride go up before destruction and a haughty spirit will fall. Seek ye the Lord and live. And all those that seek him early shall find him. Shalom.